this is a the card exercise in your where you're up to at the moment so what we're going to do is just this is the first part of illustrator you will use this is a really simple exercise just open an a4 document in illustrator and then it's just file place okay you all these documents will be provided illustrator exercise this card one place Okay, and just chuck that in the middle of your page and we're going to redraw these four shapes. Really simple stuff. What I tend to do is make the opacity of the shape lower so you can see where you're drawing. Like always, name your layers. I've double clicked over here in Layers Palette. Okay, so that's the base. We're going to lock this layer, make a new layer and then just draw away. So with the magnifying glass or space command, you can enlarge. We're going to draw this shape first. So what we do do is we just normally draw half of the shape and join it together. So with your tools, you would have done this in your initial exercises or over the overview of Illustrator. So we just want the pen tool. Okay, so we're just going to click on the top. And it's a matter of just working out where as you click and drag to bend that out, what bend you will get for the shape. And it also gives you where your next point is going to go, an indication of that. So if I click here and drag this guy up, okay, so that's pretty much right. And I go around here so I can do all of this shape. The least amount of clicks, the more straight of the line you get so I want to come down to here now and as you can see this part in here isn't going to let me bend it all that way around so I've got to click back onto the anchor turn the handle off come to here drag this out okay same again I want to come back to the middle but I can't because it's trying to redraw it so I'm going to turn this anchor off come across here and that's going to intersect back into there so there's so if I hit return now that'll stop drawing so if I flip that around that's giving me a shape the next thing we just want to copy that shape okay so this one over here with the reflect tool double click and if you can't see the reflect tool it's under the rotate tool double click on the reflect tool and just say copy so vertical 90 degrees copy and it will just give me copy you know you've got your selection tool okay but with the direct selection tool if I click on the node of that click onto that point of this one it'll snap back in and make one shape there's two ways to do this the first one I'll use Pathfinder select my shape and with the pathfinder window which is under window pathfinder here okay this first one unite and that will just make it into one shape so whatever you do now that is just one shape okay done next one's the heart similar thing i know that's the wrong color that should be black so we'll just flip that around take the stroke off it oops so this guy should be black all good same same hearts the same we go back to the pen tool click here up here so we're going to click and drag we're pulling that out to get the handle of where we are that's pretty good so click here so i'm just still coming around if it's hard to draw because it's filling you can swap that around on the fly and now you've just got a black line not a fill so under here so drag that out as long as it's kind of there it's pretty close that's there this one is going to go to there okay so that still wants to draw I don't want to draw so return on my keyboard will stop that so to join that together I'm going to flip the colors around back to double click on this one I'm going to copy this one so now I've got two of those okay so select my heart double click on this guy copy that and there's my two and then remember click on that one you just want to join them back together basically so they go back together and the second way I can the other one was Pathfinder. This one I'm going to use the Shape Builder tool, which is very clever. Click on that. You can see the two shapes, and if I just drag across that, it'll join that as one shape. That guy's red, so back on the fill. Red. Well, that's not very red, but you know what red it is. This one, same, same, much simpler. Just click there. I'll just draw this in the one go. So click. It's literally just clicking once, going all the way around. Okay, and that one. And you can see down here, I've missed this a little bit. So if you do get it a bit wrong, go to the magnifying glass, enlarge the area where you want to go, back to the direct selection tool, grab this guy, and just move him down to be a bit more accurate. I'm using the space bar here to move around the screen. You can see I'm out by a little way there. So all I'm doing is just moving that around using the space bar. And this one, I'm just collecting that one note. I can also use the arrow keys on my keyboard. That will get it to the right spot. Okay, that's the red one, and the last one is this guy down here. Okay, so pen tool, 
magnifying glass might get him a bit bigger. Having a few magnifying. Okay, straight up. Pen tool, same, same. This one, I'm just going to come around and I'm just, it's really, you just will get good, you just will learn where to draw next. So you can see if I try to draw that in one go there, the arc there is not letting me do it. So I have to go back, turn the handle off and do my own start from the beginning. As long, long as it comes out of the other one, okay. So this one, I definitely can't draw from this point to this point because Illustrator is trying to get this curve around here. So I've got to turn the handle off here, come back to here, drag him out. So it's a matter of just see, I want to flip this around so I can see where I'm drawing. So it's a matter of just trying to do it in one go. So I can't, could probably get to there pretty close. Okay, I'll show you how to go back and fix that up. So this one up to here. I'm going to turn this one off. Down to here. Turn this off because I obviously can't draw to there because it's trying to continue the curve. This one back to the middle which is there, okay, hit return to stop, I want a couple of things now, I want to go to the direct selection tool and I want to fix this curve up, so all I'm doing is the direct selection tool, click on anywhere on the border, click on the node I want to work on, grab the handle and just pull that around a bit, so everything's editable, you don't do anything wrong, you can fix everything, okay, so that's this one, that's pretty good, flip the color around, use my this one, so copy this, okay, and I've purposely done this, this isn't an exact half of each other, so what I want to do here is use the direct selection tool, grab this one, put the anchor, you can see the black arrow turns into a white arrow when it unites with the thing, and you can see it's not the same shape, so I've got to go back and edit this a bit, so I'm going to get this guy, move him across, snap him to there, select both, use the shape builder tool, Draw across, that's one shape. If I want to get really technical, you can see this is, isn't exactly right here, so I could flip that around, and I could go back in and I could edit and change all this. But I would rather, to be honest, make it half the same on either side. But as you can see, it's very easy to go back and redraw things and fix things up. Okay, so that's that one. I want to just do my colors now. So I flip this around. This one's black. These guys are red, double click on that. You can do it red this way. There's all sorts of ways you can do reds. But, yeah. Okay, this one's red. Same red as this one. So use the eyedropper, select that red. Now I've drawn my shape. What I probably would do is open up my layers palette again. This base is no longer needed. I can delete that and save that file. So card and just as an AI file, back to where it's going to go, just yep, save, 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 yep, just go, yep, okay, and you're done, okay, thank you.